Um, I'm not entirely sure why I'm here because I'm scared of spiders, scared of the dark, and uh, scared of my own reflection. I'm glad you so, followed uh, that or something. Me too. <laughs> I, think I don't know why I'm here. Yeah. All right, well. Nice to meet you too. Should we, what chat. should we do? <laughs> Why did they send me? I'm so scared of everything. Um, and that woman in black over there is so unnecessary. We're getting some really what good you, reactions. What do you mean? Stop oh, come on, play with me. <laughs> Stop <laughs> this. Um, I want some fun with that. I think that there's fun to be had. Showers, behind doors, all sorts. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should get one. Why do we never think of this? Let's have a couple. Well. So when you got the call or got the email to get to have this gig, what was your reaction? I was very excited yeah. for a long time. Yeah, me I mean, too. I mean, the first film is so great, and it's such a... I mean, the play and the book and everything about it, it's its, it's a classic franchise. And it, and the script was really good. I mean, it, I've, yeah. it was um, it's a very attractive project, so I was really excited. The script was really good. And, you know, that, that's kind of what... It's kind of all you really have to go, as, uh, go off as, you know, as an actor, so... Uh, yeah, I got I got very very excited about it. All the characters had such backstory, and it was like written like a really good British drama, and mm. then it had this horror element added. So you know, it's got real kind of credibility to it. I think. Mm. Yeah. How did you sleep at night? I had I had dreams. Yeah, you... I, mean, I, I had bad moonlight like, dreams. But I think you know, because you you're on set, you're so immersed in it. You're on set 16 hours a day sometimes, and uh, you know you really. Don't do anything but woman in black stuff all day. So yeah. So I I didn't actually dream about the woman in black, but I think I was so tired that I literally just sort of passed out at night. I'd be like, oh, and I'd wake that's up, and be like, okay, come on, well. I know. Woo, let's get back out there. Oh, my um, but sometimes since um, I do when I'm alone in a new hotel room, I think, is she gonna appear? She's like, she's not real. She's not real. Maybe Jeremy was having a lot more cheese than you or something. That's probably yeah. right. <laughs> Love that cheese. <laughs> that would be good when you're filming though, wouldn't it? Like, you have lots of cheese, get the imagination going. Mm. Just sit there in a big cheese coma, kind of, yeah. I ate a lot of chocolate on that job, actually. I, I mean, I know it doesn't give it. you the sort of lucid dreams. But we were in but cold, like, nasty fun. locations a lot of times, so just actually eating was... Eating was a big part of it. Yeah, it was. Eating's a big part of every film for me. Do you know what I did my first movie? I put on a stone. Yeah, for just I did two you. months. Yeah. That's impressive. I think it was because I suddenly had like per diems and stuff. Yeah, and I like, yeah. had just Chinese takeout every night. It was like, That's what happens when you give a child like a little bit of money <laughs> and suddenly they just buy sweets? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't realise it was an actual, like, amazingly scary place. I thought it would be like all film setting and things. Yeah, no, we shot in some dark, dark places. Yeah, yeah. only a, a small portion of it was a set. The rest was mm. grim, grim prisons and old, yeah, horrible old manor abandoned houses no one prisons. lives in. And, oh, yeah. yeah it was... So before Rep, did you do anything to get yourself in the scary mind? Set. I did watch a couple of scary movies. Yeah, I watched scary movies. Yeah, um, Rosemary's Baby, The Others. Success. I watched Paranormal yeah. Activity, which felt way out there. I actually had, did, I didn't learn anything about how to do a British horror film from watching Paranormal Activity. Um, oh, but that's it's such a good movie, though. I love that one. It's really uh, scary. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, you didn't do anything to prepare. What, like actually going like, ghost Did you like, go and frighten yourself, like down dark corridors or like in alleyways no, or something? No, no, no. <laughs> I, knew, I think I knew the filming would be enough. Also, the script like, was pretty scary. I mean, like, you know, just finishing the last page, like, we're going. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. You've got to keep your sanity. Well, I um, saw your mate Sam Claflin a little while ago. He did a scary movie. Yep. And we practiced scary faces together. He's really Which good. Which movie did Sam do? Which I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> but he was, his I've just face found, is amazing. I was going through photos, this is a tangent. I found photos of the other day. Me and Sam were drama school at the same time. I found a photo of both of us asleep in the same bed. Oh, and, uh, were you in like, in like In like really flowery duvets and stuff. That's lovely. Yeah, I'll bring that out next time. <laughs> How did you get there? I think we were at a house party together and we both clearly chose the same place to to pass the out. Down. Yeah, and there's a good. I think there's a few other people kind of under the thing, but our heads are the only things you can see. Kind of <laughs> Get that out. on Instagram. I, <laughs> I, that, I, on Instagram. that might be sorry. I'd run by him first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instagram the heck out. Of yeah, that. Right. Um, <laughs> no, because we're doing scary faces, and he's brilliant at it. Have you got a good scary face you've been practicing for the movie? There's a horrible freeze frame in the movie where it looks like I've just been electrocuted. But I'm kind of like. Mm. Uh, I've got quite <laughs> a lot of sort of like double chin kind of. Oh, yeah, 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 because you yeah. always go, mm, like that. Like, oh, gosh. The neck yeah. disappears into yeah. chin. And yeah. <laughs> Are you scared of, like, dolls and things? Because there's a room in the house, isn't there, with all these really creepy things in it? Yeah, I mean, the, nursery. the nursery, yeah. And yeah. also, actually, I'd forgotten about this. What I didn't realise until maybe the last week of filming is that the wallpaper was all um, alphabet. 
and it was all crumbly. And one day I'm, I'm in there and we're filming these really scary bits in there. And I look and it's got my name in it all over. It just says Fox, 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 Fox. Like, I'm being haunted. No, just my director is such. Did you do that? Was yes. That really? Yes. No, he didn't. He did do that. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. And like, when did he decide to so do that? Good. Must have been months in advance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love God, that. Lucky I love you the weren't recast. Joke. Hey. I know, I know, right? <laughs> and guys, amazing year for you both. Um, what's been the highlight? Um, God, that's really hard. I loved, I did a play earlier this year, which I just loved doing, which is the View from the Bridge of the Young Vic. Um, that was really a great, great production. And it's nice to get back on stage after doing quite a lot of filming. Um, I've just finished a movie called Stonewall all about the gay rights uh, revolution in New York in the 1960s. And I think, yeah, that was like a real, uh, yeah, a very different thing from what I've done before. So yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank Love you very you. much. Thank you. And I'll see you soon.